Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we are at a six months mark, or very close, in a few days to a week from now. Uh, it's going to be exactly six months left to the life of Windows 10, but only if you don't go and pay for extended support. So, uh, once again, there's um, a lot of talk of Windows 10 from Microsoft kind of trying to push you into, um, you know, moving to Windows 11. Go buy a new computer if it's not compatible. And, um, well, at this six months um, time frame, I think it's worth it to, once again, talk about the options that Microsoft refuses to talk about. So the first option, of course, is that Microsoft will have a extended support for security updates, and that will uh, be thirty dollars for a year, or depending on where you are, because it's a U.S. Uh, price, U.S. dollars. So it might be different in different countries, but um, you know look at the exchange rate of the US dollar um, depending on your country you are um, and that is one thing gives you another year on your PC if you're maybe already thinking of a new PC but this year is not the time well that extra year might give you the time so how about that option of course another option we've talked about is online with a uh, company called zero patch uh, zero patch says it will actually update Windows 10 until at least 2030 and if not more Which means it gives you more than a year now. There is one thing different with zero patch zero patch will only fix critical patches that are uh, Exploited by bad guys. It doesn't fix everything like Windows update but for most people if you're careful it's enough they, they go straight to what is important to fix to make sure that you stay safe. So Zero Patch can give you more than a year extension to your PC. <clears throat> the other one, well, you can do like I did on my Toshiba laptop. Um, if everything stays the same, um, you can use an unsupported Windows 11. You can install, say, 25H2 if it's available this fall. That will give you two years of Windows 11 on a PC that will probably work fine with Windows 11. And you're at Windows 11 and you keep your machine. That is an option Microsoft, of course, doesn't like. But it is an option to think about. Um, installing, there's several tricks out there. Maybe you can get help from someone to get Windows 11 unsupported. And um, last but not least, of course, if you are capable of moving out of the Windows sphere, you can always install a Linux distro and uh, run your PC off of that, and that will give you years of PC use. It's just very different for a lot of people. It's not an option. Uh, for some, it could be an option. Of course, there's also the learning curve. A lot of people don't necessarily want to go there. It depends on everyone. Uh, but that's a option available also. Uh, sometimes that, in, depending on the distro you will choose, can actually give you not only a, a, a extended use of your computer, but it can maybe uh, even be faster uh, depending on the machine you have. So remember that there's all these options and that uh, technically, no, and in October you don't have to buy a new PC and you know recycle the one you have uh it's still good to use and possibly use for several years to come if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching